Hi, I'm Komal Shah. I am the co-founder of Law Seco and Skill Arbitrage and the author of Business Law Essentials You Always Wanted to Know. I have an experience of 20 years in corporate law and corporate governance functions and thereafter in building and scaling a function and a business within a business. Business is growing more international by the day and even those startups which do not have a base in their home countries are looking to have a base abroad. And the US is a prime destination for these startups because it's here that they find market as well as investment. Most businesses tend to be tech based or have a tech front and the founders tend to be techies and therefore they rely heavily on external legal counsel for meeting their legal and compliance requirements. Therefore, if these founders get an idea of the basic law requirements that are applicable to their business, they can deal with their lawyers more effectively. And therefore, Business Law Essentials was written as a self-help book for these founders. Most law books tend to discuss uh, law from a very technical perspective or a theoretical perspective and they discuss the various sections and the interpretations of law. But Business Law Essentials was written as a business book and it discusses the application of law on the business uh, sectors or different functions of business and therefore it is what I would like to call applied law. Uh, Every law has a legislative intent or what you can call the logic behind the law. And if you understand this logic, you will understand very clearly what this law seeks to govern and therefore uh, be able to comply with the law, not just in the letter, but also in the spirit. And business law essentials discusses this logic behind the law. Also, it is written as a how to guide for the founders in the sense that if they want to know where they should go to get certain things done, for example, if they want to get their trademark registered, where is the place that they need to go? Which office do they need to approach? This is something that is discussed in the book and therefore it helps them arrive at what they need uh, to do to get their basic business requirements sorted. According to the US Small Business Administration Office of Advocacy, there are something like 33.2 million small businesses in the US. These businesses do not really have access to expensive legal advice and therefore they have to rely on solo lawyers or smaller law firms. If they come to know what are the basic legal requirements applicable to their businesses, they can know the right questions to ask such solo lawyers or smaller law firms and therefore be able to get their basic business requirements sorted. Also, founders in other countries who are looking to establish a base in the US would find a basic idea of the legal framework in the US very helpful in, to be able to determine what should be the implications of the business that they are going to be going to uh, set up in the US. Uh, I'm very thankful to Vibrant Publishers for giving me an opportunity to write on a topic in which I'm very interested. They have been incredibly supportive throughout the whole project. I would definitely recommend Vibrant Publishers to other authors and especially first time authors because the staff is very cooperative and takes the time to explain all the requirements very clearly. They are also not unduly rigid about the content and they allow you the flexibility to be creative. So you can be creative with them while at the same time following a system.